We are now going to take a quick look at LVM. The LPIC-1 exam does not expect you to be an expert when it comes to LVM. However, it does want you to be aware of it and understand some of the basic components of LVM. LVM is short for Logical Volume Manager. What that does is it allows for the creation of groups of disk or various partitions that can be assembled into a single, or you can create multiple, file systems. You can use an LVM volume for nearly any mount point except for boot. Boot has to be a regular file system. The reason for this is because Grub cannot read LVM metadata. One of the great things about LVM is its flexibility. It can allow for resizing of volumes. You can shrink a volume to reduce unused space, or you can grow a volume, which is handy for locations such as VAR where you have a whole lot of logs being collected. Another great feature is that of snapshots, which allows for a point-in-time copy of your logical volume. What this will do is it will pause writing to that volume for just a moment while it takes a quick snapshot of it, and then that snapshot can be used as a backup point. With that snapshot, you can copy it down to a different location and use it as a backup method for your current hard disk. So let's take a quick look at an example layout of a logical volume group. At the bottom level, you're going to have your physical volumes, which are your actual disks that you have on your system, such as slash dev SDA, slash dev SDB, slash dev slash SDC. Now, you don't have to have three disks. I'm just showing this as an example. You can have a system with only one disk and still use LVM. We're going to take a look at one of those in a little bit. But just to show you, you can use multiple disks within a LVM volume group. Above your physical volumes, you're going to have what's known as your volume group. And as you can see, the volume group, named VG underscore base, encompasses all of your physical volumes. And once more, a volume group could just be attached to one disk but we are using this volume group to show that all the physical volumes below it belong to this particular volume group. And on top of your volume group, you're going to have your actual logical volumes. This is where we actually carve up our volume group into individual components that are a lot like partitions. Here we have the logical volume for root, logical volume for var, we have a different one for swap, and another one for home. Again, this is just an example. Not all logical volumes are going to have this very same layout. So just to recap, a volume group contains all of your physical volumes, and a logical volume is just that same volume group, but carved up into smaller portions that you can use for specific functions. Above the logical volumes, you're going to have your actual file systems. Your logical volume, again, acts something like a partition, but a partition will still need a file system on it. So this is where you put like XFS, EXT4, RiserFS, or, or whatever, on top of your actual logical volume. And here on the file system layer, we have the actual directory where these file systems or logical volumes will be mounted to. So like I said, you don't need to be an expert at LVM to pass the LPIC-1 exam, but I'm going to show you some commands here that will display a basic setup on a RHEL 7.4 server. Now, the Linux Academy cloud servers do not use LVM on their images, so I'm using a personal virtual machine to show you an LVM layout. So just like the diagram that we just viewed, we're going to start with the bottom of the LVM structure and look at our physical volumes. We're going to use the PVS command, which is short for physical volume scan. And what this command does is it checks out all individual physical volumes that belong to a particular LVM setup. Here we only have one disk, which is slash dev slash VDA2. And we can see that this physical volume belongs to the volume group named volume group 00. Now let's go one step above that and take a look at the volume groups we use the VGS command for this. VGS, just like PVS, scans for the various volume groups on your system. Here we only show the volume group 00, which is all that we have on this system. If you look to the right of it, you can see that there is one physical volume that's attached to it, but there are two logical volumes contained within this volume group. So let's run LVS, short for logical volume scan, to see what these logical volumes are. And here we can see that we have two individual logical volumes, logical volume 00 and logical volume 01. And both of these logical volumes are members of the volume group 00. And again, we're not going to go into creating a logical volume as that is beyond the scope of the LPIC-1 exam. But as you go further along in your study, such as the Red Hat Certified System Administrator or the more advanced LPI exams, you will need to understand how to create logical volume groups and create snapshots and shrink and grow these particular setups. For now, you just need to understand that it exists 
and just some of the basics that are involved with any logical volume setup.